What's your name? All right, my... <laughs> yes. Catch your breath. Uh, my name's Lockie Gill. I'm Lockie. 23, and I'm from the Mornington Peninsula in Victoria. Lockie! Nice. I've always played footy as soon as I could walk. I had a footy in my hand. You want to walk the walk and count to ten. If you ain't a gunslinger, then you just won't win. By the time I was 16, I was looking at being drafted to play in the AFL and doing my music stuff on the side. This is that old fashioned showdown. One of us gonna be kicking up the dirt. I was one step away from that dream of playing footy at the highest level, but music started to take over. It got to the point where I loved footy, but I loved music even more. So I ultimately had to choose between the two of them. Oh, Lockie. Wow. Rita. Wow, what yeah. an amazing, amazing audition. That was so amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. I am so Ooh. excited. You know, of course, it's the beginning, right? And I'm thinking, I have no idea what to expect, you know? And last season, I mean, the talent was through the roof. And I, and I came back here. <laughs> And I came back to Australia for so many reasons. One, because I love the food, I love the weather, but I love <laughs> the talent, the voices, the storytelling. You know what you are? You're an amazing storyteller. Thank you. Yeah. And that's what made me turn, because that song's great. But to tell a story is really special. And you took your time, you were patient, you trusted yourself, your breathing was great, your, your tone is really special. And I feel like I can hear you on a whole record. Do you write music? Um, yeah, I, I do write music. I've probably been writing for the last six or seven years now. You just sounded like you were made to be on that stage. And I am so obsessed with you that I know I'm gonna do this and I know we're at the top of the show. <laughs> wow. You know, I told him. I'm to I told <laughs> Guy. I know. Right out of the gate. I know. Miss Rita, I know. Like, yeah. you I'm, really, I'm coming in hot, guys. No, no, no. I'm coming in strong. What, wow. if my, what if my. I don't even want to hear it, Guy. What if my pitch was Apparently. I don't even want to hear it. You are no longer in the running. I hope that shows that I'm really about to go in for the kill. Can, can, with this I, one. Still, can I still give no, feedback? No, Guy, no. I'm out of the game. You know what? The, the blocks are frustrating, but I used a block 
for Bella last season. Yes, you did. And, and so I can't be a hypocrite and, and, and take this badly, but stuff you, yeah, Rita. Yeah, you can. Um, <laughs> <laughs> look, the, the reason I turned was because the things that I loved about you was the, the rasp in your tone, the soul that. the soul that you, you've got in your voice. I also said that. And so I, so as, as a coach, I thought, imagine when we can iron out the nerves, right, how right. good you will be at your best. Like that, that, that's really the biggest job for whoever you choose, I think, is just to get you to a place where you can just breathe and be your best. I feel you. Woo! I think you're exquisite. Like you literally had connection through it all. You had vulnerability, you had emotion, and I think that's what made us all kind of just turn around and feel this like, oh, to you, towards you, you know? I think you have such grit and sexiness in your voice, and I think that's really tasty. Thank you. It's Karen, super- you did really well here with this one. No, it's super tasty, and I would really love to work with Am you right? on that. Ladies, come on. You know, and allow you, allow you to be more calm, and free with your voice as you want to be. So I would love, I would love for you to be on Team Jess. I need you to be on Team Jess, to be honest. Thank you, thank you. I'm buzzing, I'm thank buzzing Thank you very much. <laughs> thank you. Lockie. Keith. Matey. <laughs> How are you, mate? <laughs> First of all, that was a, a really big song to tackle, which for me, uh, said right away, you're a real artist. But what I loved and why I took a minute to spin was the nerves got the better of you for a section of it. And then at the very end, when you went into that beautiful falsetto ending, you had completely reined all those nerves right back in. That's the sign of a great artist because you know how to rein it back in yeah. and get yourself in the zone again. It was yeah. really good. Thank you. And I would love to have you on my team. Thank you so much. It's crazy. <laughs> So who's it going to be, Lockie? Oh, so... The coach I'll go with... Um, I'm going to go with Rita. Oh, my goodness. I am giving you all a song from one of my friends, Lewis Capaldi. Oh, that's good. <laughs> Whoever can show me their true grit and determination will earn a spot on Team Rita. Robbie and Lockie are just both such phenomenal artists, and I think we're all quite different. I just want to connect to the song. That will hopefully get me across the line. Counting days, counting days since my love lost on me. I've been told, I've been told to get you off my mind But I hope I never lose the bruises that you left behind Oh my Lord, oh my Lord, I need you by my side There must be something in the water Cause every day it's getting colder And if only My first artist that I'm putting through to the battles is Lockie. Congratulations, Lockie. 
Lucky, 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 lucky. Oh, God, he makes my heart melt. He is, like, so sensitive. He's an amazing storyteller. If the world was ending, you'd come over, right? It's got to be falling while I'd hold you tight. Oh, the blinds was crazy. I came in with absolutely no expectations of, of getting through. I just wanted to sing as well as I could. You just sounded like you were made to be on that stage, and I am so obsessed with you. Oh, snap! Rita blocked Guy for me. I was like, this is too much to take in. I wanted you on my team. Yeah. Badly. You need to feel like you deserve to be mm. here now. Yeah. Because you're up against a powerhouse. Should we bring her in? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Theone. Hi, how are you? I'm really well. I'm so happy to see you. Oh, I'm so happy to see you. I don't know if I'm happy to see you. <laughs> oh, God. This is the battle pass. At my blind audition, I sung Easy On Me by Adele. Look what God has delivered me. Theone, you have a huge, powerful voice. And Lockie, you have an amazing storytelling ability. So the song I am giving you for the battle is It'll Be OK by Shawn Mendes. Ooh, Shawn yes. Mendes. The lyrics really scream off the page, and they have to do this song justice. They just have to. Oh, the future we dreamed of is fading to black. Oh. You can go up something there. more painful. Nothing more painful. Yeah. Fiona is pitch perfect. She can go high, she can go low, and that's not necessarily me. I don't think I can get to where she's going. The low is it's probably it's hard for you to like. You know, it's do like a, the low is low and the high is it's high, high. high. Right, we're gonna have so. to find a couple notes for you in the middle then, where you can add yeah. lib. Yeah. Going up against Theone, I think any act would have been intimidated. But Lockie has a natural gift where I believe every word that he's saying. I want you to also understand that you have a lot of power as well and to believe in yourself. I think your storytelling and connecting to the song is so good. <laughs> it's really about making sure they each have their fair moments. Theone is mesmerizing, but she really needs to tune into knowing and learning the song really well. And so I can really believe what she's singing. For me, this is probably one of the most devastating breakup songs that have come out in our time now. Have you been through anything like that? I had my first, like, I'd say grown-up relationship when I was 17. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he did suck. And I'm like, despite you messing with my head, I still am worthy of love, just as much as anyone. Can I tell you, it, that first one, you never forget it. No, never. <laughs> The reason why I've asked you is because I wanted to bring that feeling back to the surface so you can really channel that into this song. In terms of emotional connections to the music, Lockie is so talented, but I'm finding it a bit hard to tap into that pain. I know you can bring it, and I believe in you both, and I think it's going to be such a memorable moment, and I can't wait to see it, and I wish you both the best of luck. I actually really, really, really want to win. I have to tap into that authentic pain that I felt, putting my pain into the song. This is what I want to do. I have been putting a lot of pressure on myself. Now I'm here, I want to win it. I need to just believe in myself.
We could try to sedate it, but that never works. Yeah. If you tell me you're leaving, I'll make it easy. It'll be okay. If we can't stop the bleeding, we don't have to fix it. We don't have to stay. we dreamed of is fading to black oh, oh. and no there's nothing more painful nothing more painful yeah. if you tell me you're leaving I'll make it The artist that won the battle tonight, for me. Is you, Lockie. Oh my goodness. Hi. <laughs> hey, my semi finalist. Hello. Hi. How are you feeling? I'm freaking so happy to be here. Like, yeah. honestly, it was never something I ever, ever, ever thought of. I wasn't even going to audition for the show because I was like, you know, I won't do very well or, or whatever. Now I'm in the semis. It's crazy. Now on to my next <laughs> subject. I really love Australian football, but I don't know anything <laughs> about it. It's complicated. I've got something I want to show you. Yeah, that's a Sharon. Is this called a Cheryl? A Sharon. But what does that mean? I think that's just the brand of the footy, Right, to be right, right. I heard that these balls are really hard to bounce. They are tricky. Can yeah. you show me? Yeah, of course. Okay. <laughs> so you go like. <laughs> it's actually so hard to oh. bounce. The bouncing is just because you can't take too many steps. So you can only take 15 steps. Oh my. This is impossible to bounce. So I tried to teach her a few skills um, from footy. Oh, I'm done with it. She wasn't very good at it. Okay. So you don't have to throw it too hard. There we go. Oh, oh boom! <laughs> Kidding. OK, this is your old playing jersey. That is. Yeah? Yeah, that is. Um, Number 19. What was it like for you, you know, just playing footy? Every kid that plays footy when they're younger, they want to play AFL, and that's the highest level that you can get yeah. to. Yeah. yeah, it got to the point where you either get drafted or you don't, and I didn't. Um, and that was kind of a big shock. Was that hard for you? Yeah, absolutely. It was so devastating, but that's when music started getting more serious for me. And I guess more impactful because you created space for it. Yeah, oh, 100%. All that effort that I was putting in at footy training then turned into... Yeah, exactly. I had all those hours of time to practise my music and, and get better at... You know, I think with what I've chosen for you, I want you to really sort of tap into that emotion and feeling that pain you felt when you didn't get drafted and then you found music. So the song I am giving you is... Deja Vu. Olivia Rodrigo. Rodrigo. Yeah. I was honestly, I was shocked. I've been singing these sad ballads by male artists and she's given me a little bit more up-tempo, poppy, female artist. So I was instantly like, hang on a second. Oh my God, like, how am I gonna do this? Car rides to Malibu, strawberry ice cream. Nice. One spoon for two. I've just got to put my own spin on it. Don't think of it as a, a female 
song by Olivia Rodrigo. It's a locky song. Play your piano, but she doesn't know that I was the one you taught you, Billy Joe. A different girl now, but there's nothing new. I know you get deja vu. So what I'm thinking there, a different girl, you can actually be angry there, almost. Yeah. And, and show that sense of, like, how could you do this to me, though, like, you know? We were the ones, we were together. I thought I was meant to play football, but I'm not now. Yeah. But I think it's all about that passion, and that's exactly the frustration that I want to see in that performance. This could be my last performance, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to treat it as if it's my last performance. So I'm going to go out there and, and give it everything that I possibly have. When it all comes down. I have put footy aside. It's gone. Music is it from here. It's all I have and all I want. I'm here to win, so I have to be in the grand finale. I have to be. Strawberry ice cream One spoon for two in trading jackets Laughing about how big it looks on you yeah. ooh, ooh, ooh. Watching reruns of Glee being annoying Singing in harmony, I bet he is bragging all his friends saying you're so unique <laughs> So when you gonna tell him That we did that too He thinks it's special hey. But it's so reused That was the show we talked about Play to the songs he's singing now When he's with you Do you get deja vu? That artist that I'm taking to the finale is... Loki. You are a grand finalist, Loki. Wow. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. Good. Can you believe it? I think I can. Yeah, I'm. So, I'm like. I'm like. So ready for this. I love yeah. that. And you deserve it. You've worked so hard. Before this, I was playing footy at my local club. I was doing gigs at the at the pub. You know. And now I'm about to walk out onto the grand finale stage. It's. It's crazy. Your mum and dad. How do you think they feel about you being on The Voice? They've always just like supported me no matter what. It was with the footy and like as music started getting bigger into my life, they just jumped on it as well. They're just like, go Whatever for makes it. you happy. Yeah, whatever makes you happy. They come to all my gigs. My parents were my backbone mm. and we're so lucky to have parents that support our dreams. And so, um, Natalie and Peter. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Hey. Hello. <laughs> oh my God. You have to give everything to this experience. <laughs> you didn't know? No, I didn't. It's been a while since I've seen them, so to see them walk through the doors was amazing. I have to say, he's just grown into such an amazing artist, and, like, 
Seeing him from the blinds to now, you guys must be so proud. Yeah, he's amazing. I'm not surprised that like, he's improved because that's what he's done his whole life. Everything he does, he just keeps going for perfection. So, you know, we are so proud of you, mate. Mm, thanks. All right, you want to know what you're singing? Yes, I do. One of my favourite songs of all time. It's iconic. I think your parents will know this really well. So the song I'm giving you is Time After Time by Cindy Lauper. Wow. <laughs> I think that's a really good song for you, Thanks, actually. <laughs> Woo! That's what I want to hear. Yeah, that's different. Yes. Mm. And I also think knowing your voice now and seeing how you can take on a challenge and really just make it your own, this is going to be that for you. And I think it's the perfect song just to end out your amazing experience. Beautiful. Lying in my bed, I hear the clock tick and think of you. Caught up in circles, confusion is nothing new. I noticed Peter cry a little bit. It was such a special moment for the final mentoring. Time I really get to see him get emotional and so to see that when I was singing it was almost a bigger push to me to show them that you know I, I, I want this so bad and that it means so much not only to me but to them as well. This is like your moment to really just put the stamp you know sing your heart out yeah. and make Australia fall in love with you as much as I have please. Burn, burn, burn. There's a lot riding on this. I need to show that I can continue to connect to the songs. I need to show how far I've come and how, how much I've learned through this experience. And that could be the difference between winning and losing the voice. Lockie is everything that I've been looking for in this competition. Someone that's willing to learn, willing to fight. <laughs> Seeing him grow into the artist that he is today has been priceless. And, you know, I'm so proud. I've played footy since I could walk. Like, loved it, always loved it. Yeah. But it just got to the point where it was like, music started to slowly take over. Like, I want more people to listen to my music. It was a weird experience watching those back and, and just seeing a different person. The Lockie in the video just didn't seem like he had any belief that 
he could actually get through. I still don't think it's like fully sunk in for me. I just would never have pictured myself getting this far. And look at where you're at, bro. <laughs> you killed it. Thanks, bro. You're such an incredible storyteller and your musicianship just like transcends even I think what you think you're capable of. If the world was ending, you'd come over. You'd come over and you'd stay the night. I can hear you on a whole record. You just sounded like you were made to be on that stage. As a coach, I'd love to know, you know, what do you think I have taught you the most? I.e., do you like me? <laughs> <laughs> Firstly, yes, I do like you. Um, every time I've seen you, you've given me challenges of songs, but you've always said, don't try and be someone else. Do it Lockie's way. So when you gonna tell him that we did that too? To go from being an AFL player to now being this fantastic performer, it's like, wow. Everything one can look for in creating a superstar. So now this is also my favourite part. I guess you want to know what your duet song is. I would love to know. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Always remember us this way, Lady Gaga. Beautiful song. <laughs> what a song. It fits, the, it fits the bill. A star is born. Oh, I'm so excited for yeah, that. Yes, let's That's get amazing. it. Let's do it, right? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sharing a stage with Rita Ora, it's absolutely going to be a, a pinch myself moment. It is the perfect song for us, and I cannot wait to get out there. We're going to do it justice. That Arizona sky burning in your eyes. You look at me and babe, I wanna catch on fire. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. It's buried in my soul. Like California gold. Mm, you found the light in me that I couldn't find. So when I'm all choked up and I can't find the words And every time we say goodbye, baby, it hurts nice. When the sun goes down and the band won't play I'll always remember us this way The winner of The Voice 2022 is... Lucky Gill! Oh. Team Rita!